there are some people who live over 100 years old, even if they have like a you know mediocre or even an unhealthy lifestyle, like they smoke, they eat chocolate, and they don't take care of their health that much. Of course, there are some genetic factors that are play here, and there are certain genes that are associated more with longevity. So in this video, I'm going to talk about these longevity genes that make you live longer, and how can you turn them on? Do it. I think a good place to start at is with the uh, blue zones. So Icaria and Sardinia are one of the blue zones in the world where people are ex exceptionally living longer. And uh, there are certain like genetic features that have been found to be associated with the centenarian hotspots. And when it comes to the Icaria and Sardinia region, then uh, the two biggest like, um, you know, genetic characteristics are that uh, they have better APOE genes as well as the FOXO3A genes. APOE gene refers to your body's ability to metabolize uh, saturated fat and cholesterol as well as insulin resistance. People who have the APOE3 and 4 allele have a much higher risk of getting Alzheimer's or heart disease if they consume saturated fat in their diet compared to individuals who have the APOE2 or 2 and 3 allele. I think that this is actually a very big like a determining factor whether or not you should be eating like a high saturated fat or not and uh, the individuals who do have the APOE3 or 4 allele then for them it's much uh, safer to uh, not be eating like a lot of saturated fat and to eat mostly like you know more polyunsaturated fats, monounsaturated fats and uh, also be on like a more you know less uh, fatty diet. But the much more interesting gene that we're going to talk about in this video is going to be FOXO3A and it, that translates into forkhead box O3A gene, which uh, refers to your body's, or is a gene that uh, regulates your energy uh, sensing pathways like insulin, IGF-1, and AMPK, so these, yeah, pretty much nutrient sensing pathways, and uh, there is a lot of uh, associations between the FOXO3A variation and uh, human longevity pretty much in multiple studies. Even in the Italians, again, the FOXO3A uh, there is a big association with uh, FOXO 3A and increased longevity, even like extreme centenarianism. Even if you adjust for smoking, then uh, FOXO 3A is still associated uh, with longevity. So uh, yeah, like even people who smoke and have like a generally unhealthy lifestyle, then if they do have you know, better FOXO 3A genes, then uh, they still have a better longevity, even if they do uh, smoke. So that probably explains a lot of these longevity hotspots who uh, do live longer despite being on like not that healthy, apparently not healthy like diet and they kind of smoke and drink. <laughs> so this, I think this is the biggest reason why they do uh, kind of live longer from a genetic standpoint that they have a lot of this uh, FOXO3A uh, genes in their like lo local environment in terms of the population. So like I said, FOXO proteins uh, and FOXO3A specifically are regulated in the nutrient sensing pathways like insulin, IG-1, AMPK, so either like you're growing or you're in a catabolic state that uh, controls things like autophagy and those things, antioxidant defense systems and NRF2, those are yeah linked to also this uh, FOXO3 activation through the AMPK uh, pathway. The FOXO transcription factor FOXO3 uh, is a part of IGF-1 and uh, it is essential apparently for getting the benefits from calorie restriction as well for uh, longevity in terms of, you know, you know, calorie restriction is great in terms of having the activation of these many longevity pathways, but, you know, it doesn't necessarily always work in terms of uh, leading to frailty and uh, muscle loss that can be harmful for overall longevity. But uh, yeah, you do need to make sure that you know, the uh, FOXO proteins apparently mediate a lot of the calorie restriction benefits that you get. And of course, calorie restriction already activates FOXO proteins. Uh, but yeah, you know, there's different ways to restrict calories. You can be on a very high sugar, <laughs> low protein diet, uh, which uh, arguably wouldn't, you know, enable the activation of these pathways, at least like in in uh, in the best optimal way. AMPK, which is uh, AMP-activated protein kinase, uh, also gets activated a lot of this by a lot of these uh, hormetic positive energy stressors and uh, yeah it does have an, a direct impact on the FOXO proteins as well including uh, sirtuins, autophagy and uh, the mTOR suppression. So how do you increase FOXO protein activation? I have written an article about it and uh, there are pretty much you know the standard hormetic stressors that we've already talked about, calorie restriction, fasting, even just acute exercise, heat shock, uh, cold exposure and hypoxia even so that you can train with some breathing exercises or the uh, you know exercise already induces some mild hypoxia you don't want to be under chronic hypoxia that's gonna 
actually promote cancer, but um, you know the uh, acute hypoxia that you get from some sort of breath work or exercise is that's what you kind of want. Some natural compounds that can also increase FOXO3 are astaxanthin that you get from seafood like uh, fish, alpha lipoic acid that you can get from foods like uh, broccoli, carrot, spinach, meat, organ meats, etc. And green tea polyphenols like EGCG activate FOXO3. The second longevity gene or let's say you know pathway that is also associated a lot with the centenarians is uh, autophagy and uh, there are like the centenarians have higher expression and higher like uh, biomarkers of pectin 1 which is an autophagy protein and uh, like a reflection of autophagy. Centenarians or people who live over 100 also have enhanced autophagy lysosomal function so uh, they have just a, like a higher baseline of autophagy activated all the time and with autophagy you know you can also activate it with the similar things that the fructose proteins like exercise some form of intermittent fasting and time restricted eating, calorie restriction, and these uh, hormetic stressors, hormetic foods like coffee, green tea, dietary polyphenols, and uh, phytonutrients. So, in conclusion, you know there are certain genetic factors that the centenarians apparently have more than uh, some other individuals. You know, one of the biggest ones is the APOE thing that they have a more favorable APOE gene allele that uh, kind of protects themselves against Alzheimer's and heart disease. Uh, there are also these uh, elevation of uh, FOXO3 and uh, better FOXO3 activation probably like you know they're genetically more easily to activate these factors or they have like a higher baseline of autophagy all the time and uh, yeah there are like these genes that uh, the centenarians apparently uh, have and that protects them against some unhealthy lifestyle but also pretty much enhances their already existing lifestyle of whatever they're doing so they're going to get more benefits from exercise they're going to get more benefits from calorie restriction etc. But it doesn't mean that if you don't have these uh, higher baseline of these certain genetic uh, like factors, then uh, you can still obviously live very long and be healthy at the same time because you know epigenetics is more powerful than genetics. Uh, the epi means above genetics. So uh, genetics is just like the predisposing factors, but whether or not some genes get turned on or not depends on you know the epigenetics of your lifestyle and what you do. And uh, the vast majority of your longevity is concluded that it is dependent of like your epigenetics and you can always take control of the direction of your health. If you are interested in reversing your biological age and want to live longer, then I am looking for a few more people who want to do that, to turn back their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.